Gertrude's First Christmas by Freddie Haler, read by Kate Weston. It was snowing. Again. Gertrude the chicken was freezing, and it was so cold that icicles were hanging off her wings. You would have thought she would have put a coat and scarf on by now, but no. Because she's a bird, and animals don't have coats or scarves. Anyway, our story starts with this particular chicken understanding the true fun of Christmas. She was in her pen, minding her own business, when something incredible happened. The angel Gabriel came down from heaven, sneezing and coughing. <gasps> Chew! Oh, sorry, he spluttered. I am allergic to feathers. Anyway, I need your help. One of Father Christmas's reindeer has come down with the flu. You need to fly in place of Rudolph. Me? But I don't have a shiny nose, and my wings have been clipped. Look! Gertrude spread out her wings and showed him. See? I'll end up flying round and around in circles. I am not doing it. Choose Lulu or Rosie, or Maud, or Betty, or Olive Oil. Fine said Gabriel. You won't get any sparkly red shoes or a soft duvet for Christmas. Now Gertrude absolutely loved duvets and sparkly shoes. Honestly, I haven't a clue why. I guess that's why she stands out and why they chose her. Maybe Father Christmas has lots of sparkly shoes. So Gertrude asked Angel Gabriel how she would fly. Here, take this he said. It will help your wings to grow back. So she took the pill and, nearly choking on it, said thank you. The next day was Christmas Eve and Gertrude flew north. Now with Gertrude being a rather fat chicken, it was rather hard flying 1,000 miles north before night. Finally, she made it to Father Christmas's den. When she went in, all she could see were drunk elves crowded round a table. Well, Gertrude was thirsty too, so she ordered a glass of water. After 20 minutes, an elf came to fetch her. Come on, Father Christmas is waiting for you in his office. So poor tired Gertrude waddled over to his royal Christmas's office. It was an amazing place, and suddenly she didn't feel so tired anymore. Father Christmas treated her to around 20 mince pies. After a while, Gertrude was ready to fly. Her heart was racing and she was sweating and was still hungry. Typical Gertrude. So, she took off and when she was about 10 feet high, she had a nervous breakdown. It took half an hour to calm her down, so they had to hurry. They put a blindfold over her head so she couldn't see how high she was. Miraculously, she managed not to crash into any aerials, and soon they had only two presents left. Goodbye, Gertrude, shouted Father Christmas, and he pretty much took the harness off her. She was still a hundred feet up in the air when the blindfold fell apart. She screamed so loud that it broke windows and caused buses to screech to a grinding halt. And then she remembered she could fly. She flapped her wings as hard as she could and landed face first in the snow. Flump! She burst out laughing. And then a giant duvet landed on her. She was incredibly happy when a giant duvet landed on her. She was rather upset when a pair of shoes landed on her head. She was stunned, though, when she saw they were sparkly red shoes. And that was Gertrude's first Christmas. The end.